I once kept a frog in my bedroom, not my mum knowing, for about two weeks. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Welcome back to another true story animation. Today, we'll be watching I Eat Scorpion for Breakfast to Become Poisonous. Yes, that is the title of this video. And no, I don't have a clue what that could even mean. A woman eats scorpions. That, first of all, sounds like a massive lie. Who is eating scorpions? And she's eating them to become poisonous? I'm starting to think that these stories aren't real at all. I'm curious to if this can actually happen. If a person eats a scorpion, does the poison get transferred to the human? No, maybe. Anyway guys, before this video starts, make sure to turn notifications on for the channel so you never miss a video. Also, leave a like while you're there to gain scorpion poison powers. Who doesn't want scorpion poison powers? Let's get into the story. Headset. On. Most people eat toast or cereal for breakfast, but I'm not most people. I'm quite fond of cereal and toast. She's got me there. I eat scorpions for breakfast. You see, my brother had an accident. He was helping my dad fix the roof on our house, but then he fell. He hit his head really badly and the doctors thought he would die. So now I eat scorpions every morning so that he stays alive. What does this have to do with eating scorpions? I don't understand. But he survived. He banged his head so hard on the ground that he's now completely brain damaged. It's hard for me to say this, but I don't feel safe around him. Right after it happened and he got discharged from the hospital, our parents went out to buy some groceries. They left me home alone with him. Oh no, what is a little boy going to do? And I was listening to music in my room. Suddenly, I felt something sharp on my ankle. And when I looked down, my brother was biting me. Oh my gosh, he's savage. He's biting her. Somebody stop him. Ow, that looks like it hurts. He bit so hard, he actually drew blood. I screamed, but he wouldn't let go. I eventually had to swing my leg back and forth so that he'd stop. Like a ravaged dog. He's just on there. It was like he'd become a wild animal. I told my parents about it as soon as they got home, and they shouted at me. They told me I was supposed to look after him and that it's not his fault, that it'll take time for him to go back to normal. Oh, so they did believe her, but they shouted at her? What? Well, time passed and things just got worse. I eventually installed a lock on my bedroom door because I'd woken up so many times to find him wandering into my room. That is an entire plank across her door to stop her brother getting in. Honestly, this is what every sibling wants in their room. The amount of times you can get clothes stolen from you and snacks, unreal. It freaked me out so much. It was so bad that my friends stopped coming over to hang out. They said my brother was terrifying. If only they knew. I'd lie in bed at night listening to him screaming and laughing and banging his fists on my wall. If I hadn't been so afraid, I'd have felt sorry for him. But then I'd look down at my ankle and see the scar from the bite, and I realized I had to do something to protect myself. Wow, okay, I know I've been joking about this situation, but this sounds awful. This poor girl is living in fear. I suggested they move him to a facility for people with brain damage, and my dad said that if I didn't shut up, he'd put me in a facility. Fine then, I'd only look out for myself then. I understand how the parents feel though, because at the end of the day, that's their child. And the daughter is asking her to separate the child away. They were never gonna respond positively to that. If he hurt them too, then it was their fault. One day I was babysitting him and he kept glaring at me. His eyes were rolling around and he looked like he wanted to kill me. This had to end. I tried to distract myself by watching TV and that's when a nature documentary caught my attention. It was about scorpions specifically bark scorpions, the most poisonous in the whole of the US. I love him. Look at how strong he is. He's showing off his muscles. I am America's most poisonous scorpion. <laughs> oh, he looks like he has a mustache. He's my favorite scorpion. In the whole of the US, their sting can lead to numbness and vomiting for up to 72 hours. I don't know why, but after watching the show, I couldn't stop thinking about it. She wanted to become a scorpion, so when people ate her, they'd die. What? <laughs> can lead to numbness and vomiting for up to 72 hours. I don't know why, but after watching the show, I couldn't stop thinking about it. What would it be like to be that poisonous? In that moment, I almost envied those scorpions. No one could hurt them. 
I started researching, and the next day I went out to try and find one. I'd never seen one in real life before, but I knew exactly where I could find them. Imagine going to find the most poisonous creature in America. Why would you ever want to find that girl? What if it gets you and you die? The show said they liked citrus trees, and right down the road there was a citrus farm. I went there after school and asked the man who owned the farm if I could take a walk around. He seemed suspicious and asked me if I was planning on stealing his fruit. I said, no, I just want to find some scorpions, actually. He looked shocked. Then he asked me to follow him. He led me to the back of a big shed and pointed towards a tank. Inside were dozens of scorpions. I couldn't believe it. I ran over and stuck my nose up against the glass. All right, he was suspicious of her for asking about the scorpions, but you have them in a huge tank. Why? What are you doing? Now I'm suspicious of you. They looked so cool. Can I buy some? I asked him. Buy? Huh. You can have them for free. Saves me killing them later. Poisonous, nasty things that they are, he said. That day was my lucky day. He put them into a shoebox for me and told me to be really careful because if they stung me, I could die. Ah, that makes sense. He wasn't keeping them as pets or to poison people. He was keeping them to kill later. She's kind of sad. Just let them live. I know they're incredibly poisonous, but just let them live. I walked home with the box and found an old fish tank we had. I put them all in there, but as I was pouring them in, one of them got away. Without even thinking, I jumped on it. Ooh, I heard the crunch sound and I shivered. Have you ever accidentally stood on a snail? Because I have so many times and I still feel bad about it. You don't notice until it's too late and then you're a murderer, a snail murderer. And then I had another thought. I'd read that you could eat them. My parents weren't home yet and my brother was at our grandma's. So I went downstairs and poured some oil into a pan. Then I fried the scorpion and cut off its stinger. I couldn't believe it. I was actually about to eat a scorpion. I even filmed myself. I could be famous, I thought. It tasted like popcorn. I swallowed it in a few bites and waited to see if anything happened. Why would you risk that? She's gotten the most poisonous scorpion and she's trying to eat it. Is this girl dumb? This could literally kill you. Maybe it doesn't, but I wouldn't take the risk. Crazy, crazy girl. But I felt fine. I decided to upload the video to my Instagram. I only had like 50 followers, but still. And then later that night, I decided to try something. I crept into my brother's room when he was already fast asleep. His toes were sticking out of the end of his bed. I bit down on his big toe and waited. Okay, she has gone crazy. I already thought going to find scorpions was crazy, but now she's biting her brother's toes. Yeah, she is crazy. It was just a little bite. I wanted to see if I was poisonous now, but instead, something worse happened. He kicked me in the face. My nose started bleeding. He didn't even know he'd done it. He was still asleep. So much for being poisonous. What do you expect if you're biting somebody's toe? Of course they're going to have a reaction to that. They're gonna flinch. They're gonna kick you in the face. I just need to eat more and try again. The next morning I woke up and I was actually craving scorpions. We had phys ed that day and the show had said they were a good protein source. This time I chose a smaller one. I was so scared my mom would walk in, so I did it as quickly as possible. Don't tell me she puts it in there alive. That's so cruel. It's last moments or it just looking down at a boiling hot pan as it knows it's going to be eaten by this crazy lady who thinks she can become a scorpion. But then I heard someone on the stairs. It was my brother. Oh no. I quickly turned the gas off and threw the scorpion in my mouth. She didn't even cook it. She just ate it raw. She had fear of her brother walking in on her frying a scorpion, so she ate it raw. I have no words. It was still moving, and I was about to spit it out, but it was too late. It was crawling down my throat. What did I just see? It's in one piece, and it's just crawling down. Surely that's really not good for you to have a scorpion in your neck. Ooh, I felt like I was gonna choke. I grabbed a glass of water and washed it down. Well, it was inside me now. There was nothing I could do about it. My brother spat his tongue out at me and suddenly I grabbed him and told him to never do that again. I'd never done that before and it shocked me. I didn't know I was even capable of speaking to him like that. The scorpion has given her the power of anger. She's mad. Wait, what is she doing? Don't tell me she's about to bite him. And then I bit him again. This time he was awake and he felt it. You are insane. Don't bite someone. He did it to you and it was not okay. So why are you doing it back? This is 
unreal. His face started to go red and I was sure I'd poisoned him. But instead, he started screaming and ran to wake up mom and dad. Well, at least he'd run away and not bitten me back. Maybe it was working after all. The only thing that's working here is your crazy brain coming up with crazy ideas. Why is she like this? But oh my gosh, I hadn't cut the stinger off. I'd eaten a scorpion that was semi-raw and that still had its stinger on it. Now I was probably going to be vomiting. Suddenly, I had this weird feeling wash over me. It wasn't sickness though. It was power. Like, I was the one in control now, not my brother. Maybe this was how I could protect myself. Look how buff she is now. Scorpions made her grow muscles. <laughs> I don't think it actually did, but it did in this shot, so maybe it did. So that's why I started eating scorpions for breakfast every morning. It was too risky to cook them in the kitchen, so I decided to just eat them raw. I mean, I'd had no bad side effects, although I always cut the stinger off. I'm not that stupid. Please don't tell me she cuts it off while it's alive. I ate a particularly big scorpion one morning, and then at school that day, I heard two girls whispering about my brother when I walked by. Even though my brother annoyed me, it wasn't his fault. So I decided to get them back for this. The next day, I watched as they opened their lockers at exactly the same time. How can you be mean about a kid with disabilities? These girls deserve what they're about to get. America's most poisonous scorpions in the locker. Surely doing that to someone is illegal. You can't just be putting deadly items in someone's locker. I'll never forget their screams. They echoed through the corridor and one of the scorpions actually looked like it was chasing them. I laughed so hard. Although, it meant I'd wasted two of them. Isn't that like attempted murder or manslaughter? Surely, if these girls got hurt by the scorpions, it would be her fault. Oh girl, you're just making this worse for yourself. Oh well, plenty more where they came from. It was crazy that I felt fine eating them. I actually enjoyed them. Some people were apparently allergic to their venom, so I was relieved I wasn't one of them. My favorite thing was to dip them in peanut butter. Their claws got all stuck together, and that way they wouldn't pinch my tongue. So they were alive, oh gosh! That night when I got home, I found my brother in my room. I'd been so excited about taking the scorpions to school, I'd forgotten to put the lock back on my door. I caught him just as he was about to open my scorpion tank. I really hope he doesn't get hurt. I'm worried for him. Sis, save him! I ran over and pulled him onto the ground, but it was too late. One of the scorpions was about to escape. Before my brother could touch it, I grabbed it, and then I felt it. It oh, was no. worse than any pain I'd ever felt in my life. Girl just got stung. It was bound to happen. She had a tank of scorpions in her bedroom. It started in the palm of my hand, and then it shot through my whole body. It had stung me. Maybe I was allergic after all. Oh no, I was going to die, and my brother didn't even know how to call an ambulance. I started screaming at him and he just laughed. And then just before I passed out, I saw him walking towards the tank. I hope the boy's okay. As much as he's mean to his sister, he doesn't know he's doing it. So I hope he didn't get stung. I woke up in the hospital, alone. My parents weren't even there. And then I looked over to my left and there was my brother. But he was also lying in a hospital bed and yeah. his eyes were closed. My parents suddenly came in and saw me waking up and started crying. And then they started shouting. They asked why I had scorpions in my room. And then they told me that my brother had been stung by one too, and he was still unconscious. Look what you've done. Keeping poisonous scorpions in your bedroom without your parents knowing. I once kept a frog in my bedroom, not my mum knowing, for about two weeks. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> this was a disaster. All I'd wanted was to feel poisonous, and I'd ended up poisoning myself and my brother. And if he didn't survive, I'd never live with myself. I was feeling okay, so I decided to take a walk and get some fresh air. I saw some familiar faces walking towards me, and then I realized who they were. It was the two girls from school that I'd pranked, and their parents. Yes, now they're going to be mad that you're the girl with the scorpions. And you put the poisonous scorpions in the girls' lockers. And they could have died. You deserve to be in trouble. They asked where my parents were. Then they went crazy. The one girl's dad started shouting at them, saying they were the most irresponsible parents on the planet and that I could have killed their daughter. They didn't understand how they'd known it was me who'd done it. And then I remembered the video I'd uploaded. Had they watched it? That's what happens when you post a video to the public. Anybody could see it. My parents just sat there speechless, gripping onto my brother's hands. Then one of the girls said, See, her brother is a total freak. I bet he ate a scorpion too, and that's why he's here. My mom stood up, and I thought she was going to grab the girl and shake her. But then she turned to me and said, You ate a what? Then the girls showed my mom the video, and my mom looked horrified. 
She started crying and wouldn't even look at me. After my parents apologized on my behalf and the girls and their parents left, I could hear my mom whispering to my dad. She's crazy, she eats scorpions. I know, it's really weird. She's even more crazy than our son is. How did this happen? Call the doctor. I didn't even have time to grab my stuff and run out of there before a whole group of doctors cornered me. Wow, they came fast. Call the doctor, and then they just came in. Jeez. And tied me to the bed. Then they wheeled me off to another part of the hospital. I was screaming the whole way there. Suddenly, I was in a room with no windows, and even the walls were padded. Did they really put you in a room like that for trying to eat a scorpion? Surely not, right? Did they think I was insane? I couldn't believe it. How ironic. It was my brother who was insane. No, your brother has brain damage. You are eating scorpions to become poisonous. You are the crazy one. And I'd done this to protect myself, but now they thought it was me who was a lunatic. My video went viral. Everyone was so freaked out by how excited I looked as I bit into that first scorpion I ever tasted. The face she was pulling, it, that was traumatic. She was loving that. My brother eventually woke up and he was okay, thankfully. My parents took him home, but they left me at the hospital. I spent a whole month in the psychiatric ward before they released me. Looks like my dad kept his word. He really did put me in a facility. At school now, it's not my brother people whisper about. It's me, and it's all my fault. I can't explain it, but I actually miss the taste of the scorpions. But I don't think I'm ready to eat another one anytime soon. She misses the taste of them. After all she's learnt. Well, that was just one of the weirdest stories I've ever seen. Like, super, super weird. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this and you would like to watch another video, click here and let's go watch it together.